What's up, chatters? It's your girl, Kathy Chit Chat, and I know you fucking lying. Make sure to subscribe. Look here. Look here. Look here. I'm confused because this is not Sheba Sheree. This is Sheba Harpo Who This Woman. This is Sheba She Ain't Sheree. This is Sheba What? This is Sheba Girl By. I can't, for the life of me, I can't understand this shit. And out of respect, I'm not even going to go into, you know, details as, into why I feel a certain way, but we've seen it time and time again, the horror stories when it comes to plastic surgery. That one story in Mexico where that, that young lady uh, traveled and they were basically kidnapped and members were murdered. It's just, I, 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 it's, when it comes to plastic surgery and things of that nature, it's just, it's really dangerous to me. And not to discredit those that do it, you know, or even call you ugly as a result. But you can't come by me with a completely different face and I not ask questions. Like, what the fuck? Like, this is one of those situations with Sheree where I had to do a double take. Like, who is this person? Now, if you like it, I love it. Like, if this makes you feel great, it, hey, hats off to you. But I remember I'm doing a series about the Real Housewife of Atlanta at the beginning. And oh, honey it's going to blow some lids back. But Sheree was always just a natural beauty to me. She worked out. She had like, she was toned, you know, she had nice length of healthy hair, had her edges. You know what I'm saying? She was just a naturally beautiful woman to me. So I don't know what happens in Holly weird or in this sick society into where, you know, you alter that because you're beautiful. Like I've, I've, always thought that was watching her like she was the most natural beautiful woman that I personally saw and I just don't understand because you don't look like you and we've seen this time and time again with plastic surgery I'm so thankful I'm not a barb so barbs don't come for me but you know we've all seen the stories when it comes to Nicki Minaj and like when she first dropped and that ass was just like oh my god gosh what the hell that can't be real looking at old photos of her it was just like what the hell so you know she took some sneak disses and said a few things over the years but never really spoke on it she did an interview I'm not sure who it was with I forgot but Nikki was really transparent and she said you know she did get it done and reason being is she you know a lot of the her the people that she looked up to were looking at these women with these derrieres and it's like you know me too me too so I applaud her why does coffee do this to me I applaud her for finally speaking the truth admitting that she did get it done and then admitting the reason why and we need to pay attention to that so many people are coming forward with their stories of bot surgeries and complications like okay it's cute now but what happens to your breast in 10 15 years with what they put in your body like what does that do does it cause damage you know with leakage and the women that get these surgeries and how you have to lay flat and drainage and you're bleeding it's just a lot and it's so dangerous to me so I don't understand and then we get to little Kim where it's like yo first of all you couldn't tell me that little Kim was not the cat's meow like when she first dropped she was saying shit that like what like did she just say that then do y'all remember the rumor that she had to get to the emer- go to the emergency room years ago because she had like her stomach was with full of semen that was like I don't know if you're not a hip hop hitter in the 90s you probably never heard it but anyway child um when it comes to that, little Kim, always she just avoids the questions or even gets angry about it. But yo, Ma, you look completely different. Like, how do you get mad at people that are just like, yo, what's going on? Because I'm not understanding. Like, her body is not given to me. And Kim was just, she was just this petite, not even brown, but like a, like the way I like my coffee. Like, I, I put a lot of cream in my coffee. You know what I'm saying? Like complexion, when she did the infamous pose with she legs cocked wide open and she got on her bikini and her little fur and, you know, her boa. Like, yo, Kim was that chick naturally to me. So to look at her now years later and it's given like Casper with the touch of Michael Jackson, it's just weird to me that people do this. And you expect people either not to notice or not say anything about it because you're not the same person. Or maybe it's because I was raised differently. Like in my family, 
if you got an illness or something going on, well, we're going to talk about it. Like, we got a family member that didn't have plenty of damn surgeries when it comes to their damn feet and all of this. And you know what her nickname is? Foot. That's what we call her. We call her Foot. You know, we acknowledge the shit. We address it. We don't try to act like it doesn't exist. So I don't understand why people get these surgeries and then you become offended when people are asking questions like, uh, hello, kind of don't know who you are. Like, if I looked at your driver's license from 10 years ago and your driver's license now, what the fuck? Who are you? Like, you know, like, it just don't make no sense to me. And then Dawn Richardson, she was a subtle one. And if you remember Dawn from, what was it? The Diddy and, oh God. Was it making the band? It was another making the band, a female version. Look at Dawn then and then look at her now. And again, not to say anyone is ugly because to me, when I call someone ugly, it's because of their behavior. But not to say that any of these women are ugly, but it's just like, yo, you did a complete 180. Like you don't look the same. Why? And it's just like, why? So either you have some insecurities within yourself or you feel pressured to do that or whatever the case may be. But for people looking in, we see your natural beauty. Like why, why alter that? Like these were some beautiful women. I'll, I'll tell you hands down, little Kim was just naturally beautiful to me. And I'm still stuck on like, I wish we can go back to y'all remember what's the 411 remix album and Mary had her blue and white bandana, her little curls coming out and her jersey and baggy jeans and boxes showing and Tim's like that's still sexy to me like why have we gone to this image into where women have to be adorned or put on a pedestal or that's what's talked about in the lyrics simply because she has an ass that is gigantic and features that are altered and fake boobs like so many times men are complaining like I want a real woman nigga use a lie because ain't no way if your last chick got fake boobs, fake ass liposuction, BBL, like, so don't miss me with this. You want a real woman because the real women are walking around with tiger straps on they on tiger stripes on they upper thighs, you know, from childbirth or weight gaining or losing or, you know, the real women got some fupas or the real women might got a little belly and yeah, she might work out or whatever the case may be. The real woman is eating a cheeseburger. Like, so miss me with this. You want a real woman shit because when do we have to become beautiful simply because we have a small waist and a big ass? Like we're so much more to that. We literally bring life into this world. So like to these rappers that are praising this and women are dying or having complications or issues k michelle was very vocal about what occurred with her on dr phil like if you see these stories why do these rap like artists and labels continuously promote this shit like at some point it has to be knocked off because we need to raise our daughters to understand that they are beautiful just the way that they are in the society now if you want to do other things there's things you can do you can use moisturizer you can go to the gym you can alter your body with out surgery you know and I'm not shading those that do it if you do it because that makes you feel better hey but if you're doing it because you have some sort of insecurity then that's a whole nother story and you need to see a therapist for that because no one should be able to alter your opinion and view of you you're beautiful we all are beautiful unless you are ugly motherfucker and again ugly motherfuckers to me are based on their behavior so I don't get it. I hate seeing these women where it's like, who are you? Serena Williams. That's another one that's not talked about. But looking at her photos, it's just like, yo, your complexion is changing a little bit. Like, it's just really, really weird to me that this is occurring. And again, I don't know if this is Holly weird or what the fuck that's making some of these women think that they need to alter their bodies completely, their shades completely, their noses completely. I I just, I don't get it. Now, if you got a schnauzer, you know, one of them nose and those nostrils, who's that that had the, what's the boy on, um, Lord have mercy. And he's still beautiful too, but, um, it was on power and he was just a scandalous motherfucker. But you know who I'm talking about? He had the nose. He's an artist too. I can't think of the name right now, but looking at him, his nose takes up a lot of his face. 
So I get that. Some people might have an insecurity if you have a nose that size. Like his nose is really, really large. I'm just saying. But I just, I still don't get it. I'm confused by all of this. Like, please stop doing these surgeries and then you turn around and you're a different person talking about, hey girl, hey girl, who are you? Hashtag, who is this? Hashtag, I don't know this woman. Hashtag, girl, what? Hashtag, are you for real right now? Hashtag, where's your face? Hashtag, what happened to your face? Like, I just, it's too much. It is too much. Until next time, y'all stay chatting.